So uh, that's a stakeholder. How is the world order changing and how has it changed? Over the last 30 years or 40 years, 30 years mainly, since GATT 2, the world order has changed in a manner which has made China the net beneficiary and America and Europe the net losers, particularly America. Until GATT, there were restrictions of taking any technology exporting any technology which the state had itself devised and uh, uh, which the state had uh, which the state had devised and taking it out with GATT not only they could technology be taken out but the uh, manufacture and production of goods could be taken out and then re-imported as manufactured items. And China became the manufacturing, uh, outsourced manufacturing hub, in fact, the greatest production uh, factory in the world over these periods and all brands, all uh, goods you buy, a Gucci uh, bottle and Somewhere inside it says made in China. You want a BMW made in China. IPhone. You want an iPhone made in China. So this made in China has made China very powerful. And indeed it has. There is the, the Trumpish kind of reaction to this that you've given all our jobs uh, away and uh, outsourced them to China and his hostility towards China was not just the COVID, but he was, he was actually aiming at this population, which has lost jobs and which is uh, now dependent upon and finding that any T-shirt that he, uh, a, a man produced in America or T-shirts have always for a long time not been produ produced in America. They are produced in Bangkok or Bangladesh. Uh, but any other machinery he bought was uh, he, which he was producing was now made in China and his job was in China. So there is this one shift where there is going to be these two elephants uh, trying to uh, topple each other over. And the Americans are going to put their worst thought and their worst uh, uh, efforts, the worst in the sense of uh, not in efficiency but worst in the sense of the moral uh, values and uh, gradation into uh, and there is going to be no holds barred. Now where are we? There are about 30 states that actually took the benefit of this GATT kind of opening. China being the foremost, but Thailand, uh, Bangladesh, uh, Vietnam, you find them in these, in, in your trousers, in your shirts made in Vietnam. Uh, Cambodia, Malaysia, Philippines, they all became and took the manufacturing part of uh, American industry into their own hands. And America suffered, but they gained. We had an awesome kind of uh, insurgency and uh, instability. Socially, we were cutting each other's heads. We were bombing, us becoming bombed and bombing. Well, to say that uh, America was responsible for it and Afghanistan uh, was uh, uh, albatross around our necks that uh, we were uh, we had to live with uh, is all a, 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 a different part of the story. The part of the story is that America, it was biblical. It was biblical, I think, the flight of America, their flight in the sense of running away from Afghanistan 
one day god's people slept on one side of uh, the bagram airport and the uh, uh, god's enemies slept on the other side and god's people were fearing that the enemy would uh, 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 enemy of god and the over armed muscular giants are going to beat the hell out of the of god's people when they got up in the morning the god's people had disappeared they just in one night disappeared and left completely so this kind of a biblical uh, story of noah's flood or uh, uh, abraham's uh, sparrows ye koi allah ki taraf se koi aayi madad afghanistan ko ke america raat hi raat mein gayab ho gaya to ye afghanistan hamare saath hamare gale ki ghanti kyunki humne isse bahut invest kiya hai aur galat invest kiya 1980s humne isse invest kiya apne aap ko invest kar diya apne aap ko hi laga diya jaane hi dene shuru ho gaya sirf paise nahi jaane hi dene shuru ho gaya to ye ek mushkil rahegi hame kyunki ye afghanistan mushkil rahega duniya ke liye bhi aur region ke liye bhi aur india bhi isme पेनिट्रेट करके और इसको इस्तेमाल करने की कोशिश करता रहेगा और हम क्या हैं लास्ट वर्ड वी बाई यू नो वेन आई थिंक ऑफ पाकिस्तान इन अ चेंजिंग वर्ल्ड ऑर्डर आई सी अस एज ए बुलक कार्ड विद अ ह्यूज बैरल इन इन इट which is our nuclear bomb in the middle of times square this is what we are thank you sir so, so that's a main negotiating point with the world <laughs> that yeah we might have all our problems but we can cause problems too uh yes nobody can touch us they say nobody can touch us we are a nuclear state we are a nuclear state maine jab ye nuclear ka we are a nuclear state maine jab ye nuclear ka hua india ne jab kiya nuclear blast in on 11th of may 1998 we responded on the 27th of may 1998 but in those 15 years we had a debate in parliament and i was the leader of the opposition and i said uh i'm re- rethinking about it a bit samu what i said because of uh, ukraine uh, and ukraine's exposure to russian easy russian invasion go it is there going to be no easy way out for the russian uh but i said कि न्यूक्लियर प्रोग्राम हमारा हमने बनाया इसलिए है कि इससे हमने पाकिस्तान की हिफाजत कर रही अब ये ना हो जनाब स्पीकर कि हम पाकिस्तान को दाव पे लगा दें इसकी हिफाजत करते करते दैट्स एन इंटरेस्टिंग इट्स ऑलवेज बिन अ डिबेट एंड समटाइम्स यू स्पेसिफिकली यू डिस्कस that has a nuclear program or has a nuclear bomb to be precise actually made pakistan more secure or less secure so yeah we lot of people But talk ukraine, about it ukraine ukraine uh, probably uh put the near naysayers like me on the wrong side quite frankly well they were they were a nuclear power and they actually gave up their nuclear program yeah. to the russians in exchange for the security guarantee a little more complicated than that okay a little more complicated i mean do we really want to go into <laughs> a short huh? we don't want to go there right now please please oh short. um please, no please. it's a little more complicated than that they they had the the missiles in the launch i think they did not have the codes or the capabilities and also bear in mind that uh, the very fact of trying to maintain thousands and thousands right. of missiles would have been crippling so i mean while i understand the larger point I am a big fan of nuclear weapons by the way. I think that everybody should have them. <laughs> but but the Ukraine the Ukraine thing the Selmy um was a slightly different situation. What is a nuclear weapon without the codes and the ciphers? Uh you can't really launch it. 
So it wasn't really useful for them. That's my opinion. To get back yeah. to the that's what I said. Yeah. Um, navigation. Uh, start off yes. with Uber Khayyam into the world not knowing whence and cut it short by saying out of this world not knowing why like water willy nilly flowing that's Pakistan's foreign policy or Pakistan's standing so we had the general. benefit we had the benefit of Yalta and we were coupled in India and India was a powerhouse so we were given respectability this time round, in any conference that will be held, and you are awayed anew. Where is your economy? Zilch. What is your favorite pastime? Begging for money. What are you capable of handling? I don't think even your nuclear whatever has any standing. Nobody's bargaining for it because 60 uniforms have traded the secrets of it already to the Americans. So what are they going to be worried about? Have you noticed they're not even talking about it anymore? I think the thing to understand is, even today while we sit here, and the Deputy Commissioner Matiari absconds with 12 billion rupees, what have any of you done about it? Nothing. So the abscondings are going on, the money transfers and flying is happening. Nobody is bothered of what's happening to the millions of people starving all over this province and other parts of the country. We haven't really given them any attention and we don't even seek to. I mean, today, while all this is happening, we are going in to borrow more money. How are we going to pay it back? We won't. And as long as there's more money, there's going to be more inflation. So, mehengai to bohogi, which you're importing yourself on your head. Right. Now the question is this, what are we going to navigate with? Um, some of you think Saudi Arabia controls us? No. As long as the king of Saudi Arabia is around, it may not happen. But it is predicted that after a while, there will be a fratricide within the Sa Saudi royal family. So which side are you going to be on then? I think it's not a question of taking sides. It's just a question of being very nimble on our toes, how to get money into our hands to spend. <laughs> Yet we yes. don't seem to do anything that is progressively funded right. in terms of economy and otherwise. I mean, still after 70 years, my friend Temu speaks of the Mazur Kisan party. Why? Because nothing has been effectively done. Others speak of other things. The question is, we have not delivered anywhere. The question right. is, where are we going to be? You know, in America, when I was there 12 years ago, it was different. Now, the way you are thought of and treated, they made their alliances. Europeans, I don't say they're stakeholders in anything. Forget it. The Europeans are basically yes serves no serves to the Americans. that's all they're capable of doing because their economies and their economic plight is so severe they can't if it hadn't been for american uh, ships carrying biogas across to uh, europe you would have seen many countries perhaps breaking out of the deadlock against uh, russia so these artificial means of keeping things going but we are not included anywhere in any of this and Is believe me, do you think that's going to change over time? I would like to open. Well, I think one of the subjects you bring well, up I'll is that answer we, simple we, with one word: no, no. Because we have shown absolutely no inclination in yeah. trying to put together our own body. I think so, you, you know, know elaborating what as Atalaz uncle said that at the end of the day we have to navigate not just U.S. China but actually stand on our own feet and develop like even forget about the rich countries but Cambodia and Bangladesh and what they've done and at the end of the day it's their Bachman economic se, spine Bach, that Bach, is Bachman huh? se yehi sun <laughs> ke Bachman se yehi sun ke Bangladesh ki tarah ban jai nahi 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 ke we have to stand on our own feet yeah. Yeah. I think this is a we debate, this is a debate we've been having since 1947 I don't think anyone has an answer yeah and I, Omer I wanted to make another point hum kyunke ilakai um, uh, siyasat ki baat kar rahe hain so, I think that when we talk about China or 
اور بین الاقوامی سیاست کی بات کریں وہاں انڈیا کی بات بہت ضروری ہے بالکل انڈیا کی معیشت سات فیصد سے گرو کر رہی ہے اٹ از سسٹینڈ ایبسلوٹلی سسٹینڈ لیول پہ سات فیصد سے گرو کر رہی ہے مگر ہم ان سے دوستی کرنے کے لیے اس لیے نہیں تیار کیونکہ ہمیں ان کی حکومت پسند نہیں جو وچ از لجٹ مگر دوسرا جو مین مسئلہ ہے وہ یہ ہے کہ ہم کہتے ہیں کشمیر کا مسئلہ پہلے حل کریں پھر ہم آگے کوئی بات کریں گے اب فرض کریں آپ ذرا سوچیں کہ فرض کریں کہ ہم کشمیر کو یہ اس قسم کا ویٹو نہ بنائیں ود رسپیکٹ ٹو ریلیشنز ود انڈیا اور ہم انڈیا سے دوستی کریں کیا پوٹینشیل ہے ہمارے پاس سب سے پہلے تو ترکمینستان افغانستان پاکستان انڈیا ٹاپی گیس پائپ لائن اگر آپ کمپلیٹ کرتے ہیں تو اس سے تیل جو ہے آپ کی یہاں سے تھرو ٹریول کرے گا ٹو انڈیا انڈیا اس وقت تیل گزل کر رہا ہے رشیا سے بھی ہر جگہ سے دوسرا ایران پاکستان انڈیا پائپ لائن کمپلیٹ کریں اگر وہ ہم کمپلیٹ کرتے ہیں اگین آپ کی اپنی آئل ڈیپینڈنسی بھی کم ہوتی ہے اور آپ انڈیا سے بھی ریونیو کماتے ہیں فور ٹرانسفرنگ لاسٹ بٹ سرٹنی ناٹ لیسٹ آئی پی پی اس کا مطلب جس مسئلہ جس سے بجلی کا سارا مسئلہ پیدا ہوا سرکولر ڈیٹ کا مسئلہ ہوا وہ سارا پروجیکٹ ہی تب کامیاب ہوتا اگر آپ انڈیا کو اپنی بجلی بیچ سکتے ہیں جو کہ ویٹو ہو گیا کشمیر کی وجہ سے تو آپ کے پاس ایکسیس کیپیسٹی جو ہے وہ آپ استعمال ہی نہیں کر سکے تھرو آؤٹ دا نائنٹیز جو آئی پی پیز کی وجہ سے پیدا ہوئی الٹ آپ کو اتنا مہنگا بل اٹھانا پڑا جو آپ اٹھا ہی نہیں سکتے تھے سو دیر آر سیورل پرابلمس دیٹ وی سالو اگر ہم اپنے دماغ سے یہ بات نکال دیں کہ ہم نے کشمیر فتح کرنا ہے اور ہم اپنے دماغ میں یہ بات ڈال دیں کہ انڈیا میں جیسی مرضی حکومت ہو اپنے مفاد کے لیے معاشی اور سیاسی مفاد کے لیے ہمیں ان کے ساتھ تجارت کھولنے کی ضرورت ہے بہت شکریہ